What is going on, guys? Your boy Joey Shakes. I'm to come to you guys with a video right now. So I want to go over the running back position, the bruiser back position uh, between Carrion Johnson and Jordan Howard. Now, Carrion Johnson has a knee injury right now. Now, unfortunately, you know, he's sidelined. Don't know how long he's going to be out. I haven't heard much about it. Could be week to week, most likely. And, you know, this is from a few days ago. He's had this for the past few days. I didn't report this uh, the past few days, but I'm reporting it now because I think it's important to kind of move forward. And, you know, obviously with roster cuts coming soon and things are going to start to change really soon, okay, if the Eagles actually keep another roster spot for the running back position, would they actually keep two bruisers in carry on Johnson and Jordan Howard? Okay. Carry on Johnson, a former first round pick for the Detroit lions has been hindered by injuries in his career. I mean, he's good. He's elusive. He's quick. Um, for a bruiser back, he's pretty elusive. And, uh, when he lays the boom on somebody, he drags them for a lot of yards. Um, when I saw that carry on Johnson was signed for the Eagles this year, I mean, it kind of was an eye opener that they want to bring as much competition as possible. Um, and kind of have carry on Johnson kind of recreate a new era for himself on another team and kind of create something. But, you know, uh, this knee injury, is it going to affect him that much to where he's going to get cut? Are the Eagles going to be able to trust carry on Johnson being healthy week to week? That's going to be the question. Now, Jordan Howard, obviously we acquired him in 2019. We traded uh, for Jordan Howard on the last year of his contract from the Bears for a six-round conditional pick, okay? And that was a steal trade. He only costed about $3 million for that year. But, wow, what a good trade by Howie Roseman. And um, as for these are the two best blocking running backs these guys pick up blitzes the two best backs in the league are carry on johnson and jordan howard one and two uh the best the eagles have two of the best guys that prote for protection and the back end just in case for the blitzes and uh jordan howard did show that uh in the first preseason game and picked it up well and drives guys to the ground on those blocks which is heavily um which is really uh heavily favorited so jordan howard came into this year on a really dry free agency and had no interest whatsoever. Eagles picked him up, and there was at least Jordan Howard was contemplating on retirement uh, this year. Because if really, if you have no interest, what are you doing? You're either going to stay home and prepare yourself for a team to sign you, or obviously wait for injuries to happen to teams where they will bring you in. He went to Miami after 2019, got a big contract, and didn't use him. He was a healthy scratch. Every running back they get in Miami, they usually just, I don't know, they don't know the running back position too well in Miami. They don't handle their running backs well over there. So he was sitting there as a healthy scratch for a lot of games and was said by the offensive coordinator for Miami that they didn't know how to use him. So I don't know why, but now with, you know, Jordan Howard coming here this year, he is a lot more, I don't know. He's had a really solid camp, guys. Um, really solid camp in a, a lot of shape. He lost a lot of weight, but he bulked up a, a ton, okay? Um, I thought he looked good in the first preseason game for the couple snaps he had. I thought he looked fine. You know, nothing was wrong with it with him, um, but... How much trust are the Eagles going to have in Carry On Johnson? I think Carry On Johnson, for my at least in my taste, would be in front of Jordan Howard right now. But um, I'm a big Jordan Howard. I love Jordan Howard. I don't care. I mean, Jordan Howard is a great player. I think he once he gets to the second level, he carries guys on contact for seven to ten yards. I mean, Jordan Howard is good with the starting offensive line, the receivers, the tight ends, the running backs, and Jalen Hurst extending plays. I mean, even putting Jordan Howard in the passing game as well because these running backs will be in the passing game. Okay, we've already known that with Nick Sirianni in this offense. It's all about speed and quickness. Like Jordan Howard is not the fastest guy, but once he gets to the second level, he's gone okay he gets to the second level um he runs into guys for contact he gets extra yards he tires out defenses the bears kind of used him that way as like a finisher bruiser when they you know Tariq Cohen was pretty much doing everything at running back and Jordan Howard is most likely the finisher tiring out those defensive lines so then you can start bouncing the pass out a little bit um and, and getting better protection obviously so um I don't know what's going to happen here because if if you know if carry on Johnson look either one of these guys I would want here but I think when it comes down to health and, and Jordan Howard hasn't been the healthiest either uh, but so far this camp he's been looking really good plus being healthy is a huge plus than what carry on Johnson and a knee injury it's not a shoulder it's not a bicep it's it's a knee so that's where it kind of alarms me in that rate of what they're doing so I don't know what the Eagles do here let me know in the comment section below what you guys think where the what the Eagles are going to do um, do you think the Eagles will cut carry on Johnson do you think Jordan Howard will stay here, or do you think Jordan Howard will get cut and the Eagles will take a chance on that knee? 
Me, I would keep Jordan Howard. That's just me right now. If this persists to where he misses even more time, and, you know, it's really up to the Eagles what they want to do. But it's going to be interesting to see who they keep at running back. I think Jordan Howard makes this team. Not really because of that knee injury. I just think I've seen a little bit more. Uh, But at the same time, you know, there is another two games left uh, this week and obviously next week, and then you have a lot of time to heal. And then the Eagles have to f- uh, figure out the 53-man roster. So that's going to be tough, and and hopefully we see Jordan Howard on this roster. I think Jordan Howard's ready. He looks more prepared, more ready, and, uh, and healthy. So I guess that's the huge difference there. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys later. Shakes going up, follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.